Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our year five and six end of year production. Before we start, I have to do a few house points. We're not expecting a fire alarm, but if it does go off, please make your way to the exit over here. We will take care of the children. Please turn all mobile phones to silent or to vibrate, and then please wear your masks throughout the performance. Welcome everybody to 1001 Arabian Nights. Where, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> where you will discover the life of Aladdin and Jasmine. As you know, this is a pantomime. As we know in pantomimes, you take part just as much as our stage actors do. So, introducing my rather ridiculous girls in their onesies. If you see this card, what do you do? Ah. Oh. If you see this card, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you can do a bigger one than that. Do that one again. Yeah. Hooray! <clears throat> if you see this card, boo. boo. And finally, yeah. hiss. And as ever, if you see somebody behind somebody, we say... He's behind you. He's behind you. Sit back, enjoy what's taken us months to prepare, and enjoy our production. Your eminence, as you requested yesterday, they're transported from France. That was yesterday! Today I hate green! Go bring me oranges! I'm happy to do your bidding as musical notes to be a part of a divine melody. I am Scheherazade, the Sultan's new bride. All of his others have suddenly died. After the wedding, no breakfast in bed. She says, I do. He says, off with her head. If I'm to survive more than one night, I must weave tales for the Sultan's delight. Stories alive with intrigue and romance, to keep him in trouble is my only chance. Hmm. I know, a panto, heroes and baddies, humor and drama, a beauty, a lad, how will he charm her? At first, his clothes may be all in tatter, but is his heart kind? That's what really matters. Imagine a market, vibrant with life, teeming with people from lord to fishwife. A suitable setting, full of mystiques. All kinds of people are crowding the streets. Let the action begin. My story unfold. It had better be good, his interest to hold. So do please join in and help move it along. Ah, here comes our hero. Bring on the gong. <laughs> My name's Aladdin, Aladdin Muddy Trousers. Good thing my mom owns a local on dread. I've come to sell these vegetables at the market towards the village hall fund. I work at the palace garden, you see, and they let me take these as part of my wages. So, let's see what we've got so far. Uh, one brick, uh, well, that's a start, I suppose. So that's where that went at last, I can finish my extension. 
some PVA glue that always comes in handy in sticky situations. And a picture of Abenazer. What's this for? That's for the dartboard. Oh. Well, we're not doing very well, are we? You see, boys and girls, I really want to be an entertainer, but there's just nowhere to put on shows at the moment. And everybody knows how important shows are. Yay! Times might be tough, but we're all in it together. So come on, let's get this market started. from a camel's nose. I am the keen edge of a tiger's tooth, the sneer which plays on a hyena's lips. I am Abanaza, grand visor to the emperor, and soon to be master of the universe. I finally had this ancient scroll you see, telling me where to find the lamp of unlimited power. And when I have the lamp, I'll banish all the villagers to a hard life of labor and misery, 
and build a resort and a golf course for the ridiculously rich and famous KTA inspectors. I'll wipe the smiles of these faces, of these cheeky peasants who show me no respect. And when I have the lamp, they'll be throwing themselves on my mercy. And it'll be a hard landing, because I haven't got any. Mwah ha ha! Now, where's my lazy sidekick? One, two, one, two, three, four, shake your booty to the floor. One, two, have I ever told you you're the most irritating evil sidekick ever? Twice a day, sometimes three. I know you constantly. That'll teach me to go to sidekicks R us for an evil accomplice. I should have gone someone more posh, like Louis Norton. But when I had the lamp, I'll find a sidekick who's more genteel. Then I'll be the slinkiest slither of the slipperiest eel. Though, this rhyming thing is catching. Come with me. Of course I want to. Not. It's the only choice I've got. Hey, that reminds me of my favorite joke. The man goes to the doctor with a strawberry going at his head, and the doctor says, I'll give you some cream for that. <laughs> I love that joke. Yeah, that is. I've got a good joke for you. What's the fastest vegetable? We, we don't know what, what is, is the fastest, fastest vegetable. vegetable. Thanks. That's great. I'll put it in my routine in opening night. It'll be great to have summer where we could have shows and have Pilates classes. What else do you teach? Probably go on your classes in there. And remember, teachers and parents go for free. Oh, I feel the ground shaking. That must be my mom. Aladdin, you. Oh, hello, boys and girls. I didn't know you had so many friends, Aladdin. Those pause ed lessons must be really working. And they all look very intelligent. Anyways, I'm trying to think of a new name for my laundrette, but I can't think of anything that I like. <gasps> Maybe your friends could help. Could you say hooray if you like our suggestions and boo if you don't like our suggestions? Said you like? No. Squeaky clean laundry? No. Maybe wash your problems. No. Speaking of wash your problem, have you seen our twin brothers wishing washy? Maybe they could help. Hey, that would be a good name. The wishy washy laundry. Hooray. Hey! They like it too. Come on, I'll give you a hand making the sign, Mom. Oh, you're such a good boy, helping out a damsel in distress. I don't know about damsel in distress. In that dress, she looks more like a camel. this looks like? Er, uh, you don't have all your artistic imagination, your highness. It's obvious, it's Lord Voldemort's. Add it to my apple peelings that look like famous people collection. Put it next to Cruella de Vil. There are certain similarities. Hmm. Apple peelings that look like famous people indeed. These bore me to the core. I don't know what I'd do without my collections of collections. With all the things I have to worry about, it's the only thing that keeps me sane. Now, have you seen my Marvel's collection? I seem to have lost it somewhere. Um, no? Sorry, Highness. Ah, oh, my beautiful daughter Jasmine. Now, as it's almost your birthday, we need to think about the ancient law regarding our marriage. Read it to me. Any princess that wants to be exiled on the island of beastly, beetle, and creepy trolleys, must marry a man. Specified on page 902, paragraph 17, clause B. She must marry a man, profitable with good character, possibly with a title, and absolutely must have loads of money, and look good in glassy magazines. For further detail, visit page 306, paragraph 19. So, my dear, I've arranged for a selection of suitable suitors to come here and help you pick your future husband. Isn't that exciting? Father. I know you only want the best for me, but I don't think I can do this. I want to be free and marry someone I fell in love with. You are Jasmine. You're free to fall in love with any of them. Servants, please announce them. Two through one.
I've had enough. Father, I'm grateful you've gone through so much effort and thank you for coming, but you had a wasted journey. Let's all go and have a look at my collections and give the princess a chance to calm down. It's not fair. I hate being a princess. Why can't I live an ordinary life? Don't be too keen giving up being royal. Being ordinary is not all that. I've had enough of all the expectations. I'm sick of all the royal regulations. A crazy rule to spoil it all. It makes no sense to me. I must have seen at least a hundred princesses.
downs, Princess, you just have to look on the bright side. The grass always is greener on the other side until you get there and realize there are weeds in there as well. If only I could be free, even for one day. I know. Why don't you swap clothes with one of us? Just for a little while. You could sneak us to the market and we'll cover for you. Do you really think I could? Why not? You could bring us all back some sweets. There's a really good stall on the market. Come on. We've got to turn a princess into a commoner. A kind, a kind of Cinderella in reverse. the entrance to the Cave of Wonders. I believe the lamp of unlimited power lies within. Let me unroll this ancient scroll, telling me where to find the lamp of unlimited power. Mm -hmm. One packet of Haribo, four pairs of Superman boxer shorts, and one tube of dental fixtures. That's my shopping list. Mm. Ah, here it is. Mm -hmm. I, the great almighty Abanaza, demand entry into the wonderful world of this curious cave. Good day, Ambandana. Never mind the alliteration. What are the magic words? Please and thank you. Aha, that should have done it. Now roll over, Rocky. My imagination can stretch quite far, but I can't see my master as we're rocking. Roll, star. You cannot enter here, Havanana. Only one truly kind and pure of heart can do that. It's Abanaza, you gormous granite. You sense the stone. Well, it must be one called Aladdin, and anyone who resorts to calling nasty names doesn't deserve any help. Isn't that right, boys and girls? Yeah! Goodbye, Ebenezer. Bah! May the swell of sweaty peacocks ever be in your nostrils. Come with me, you nincompoop's necroelastic. Let's go see if we can find Aladdin waiting, waiting for us to steal his fate. Bye-bye, <laughs> must fly. Oh, thank you very much. Mm, mm. That's your outfit for today. Would you like a little sweat? How about you? I'll make you smell like a princess. Ugh. Ugh. I'd, I'd like, like some, some of those, those please. They're, They're my, my favorite. favorite. Jinx! A bag for you. And a bag for you. Mangoes, the finest mangoes here. Hey, that reminds me of my favorite joke. Man goes into the doctor's with a strawberry growing out of his head. And the doctor says, I'll give you some cream for that. <laughs> I love that joke. So do I. Are you new around here? I haven't seen you before. Um, I've come from the palace. You come from the palace? So do I. In the gardens. But I really want to be an entertainer. Listen, how do you make an artichoke? Mm, I don't know. How do you ma make an artichoke? You strangle it. <laughs> what small, round, and giggles a lot? I don't know what small, round, and giggles a lot. A tickled onion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we could be a double act.
one, two. Keep up, you lazy lizard's nail clippings. Oh, right, I can't go much faster. These shoes hurt. I need a plaster. Um, I've got to go. My mistress will be wondering where I am. Goodbye. Ha! If I'm not mistaken, that's Princess Jasmine. Bye! Bye! My name's Aladdin. If you want to find me, I'll be at Widow Twanky's Laundrette. If you want to. Hey, did you happen to see the most beautiful girl in the world? Aladdin. What a stroke of luck. And it looks as if he's Aladdin in love with the princess. Hmm. I know. I'll tell him who his love really is. Then offer him a chance to get really rich so he can marry her. Don't get sentimental. They won't make it to the church. Abanaz will just use him and leave him to the lurch. she meant <laughs> yeah the pouring walls engulfing some long good and colorful lane <sighs> never trust a teacher swishy swashy swishy swashy oh, hello wishy hello washy have you come to give me a hand ring out mrs dugdale's bloomers would ya could shake a while and look at all these odd socks. Anyone would think I have a centipede with hot feet for a customer. And oh, it's so seamy and full of hot air in here, just like a staff room at lunchtime. Ding dong, anybody home? Widow Twanky, at your service, what can I do for you? No, madam, what can I do for you? I'm your long lost brother-in-law. Your late husband's brother. My husband didn't have a brother. He was a lonely child. You mean he was an only child? Aha! Sweat, so you admit it. He didn't have a brother. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. And now, now I'm here with a job offer for my nephew, Aladdin. He'll be richly rewarded. Why didn't you say? But sadly, you've just missed him. He went out to write some lovesick poetry. Why not take Wishy and Washy instead? I beg your pardon? Buy one, get one free. I'm sure I'll find a task for this charming pair. But for now, I need Aladdin. Righto, I'll send him to as soon as he gets back. Where do you live? Tell him to meet me at the edge of town, at the Great Rock and the gateway to the desolate desert. Just past Spinney's? That's right. As the next scene is unfolding, let me bring you up to speed. Adana's has sought Aladdin's help, and her aunt has agreed, for the love of Princess Jasmine, he'll do anything he can. Can't you feel the tension mounting? Now, our aunt's taking the bait. If you want to see what happens, there isn't long to wait. At last, I have Aladdin in the cave. I have loaded him down and pulled up the rope, so as soon as he throws me the lamp, I'll leave him there to perish. Oh, it's so much fun being mean. Uncle, I've got the lamp. Please throw me the rope. Throw me the lamp first. Then you'll have both hands free. I'll manage. The rope. <laughs> <laughs> 
The lamp. The rope. The lamp. The rope. Abanaza won't let him exit in case he takes the lamps and legs it. You mug it in the upper of my life. You stay there for a few hours and think about it. I'll go see my tailor and get him started on my Master of the Universe outfit. Mwah ha ha. So dark. You should have gone to IKEA. Where? Where? Ha! Ah, who are you? Tom. Tom? Tom, the only flying carpet with Matt Nav. Flying carpet? So you can fly me out of here? I'm sorry, I can only fly around things, not through them. Oh, well, I just have to think of something else. Let's see if there's anything here could, that could help us. Hey, this would make a perfect ring for proposing to a beautiful princess, say if I ever get to see her again. Whoa! Who are you? Wear gems that people love to own. Because it makes them richer. You see the bigger picture. We see in your faithful heart. A love that's strong and true. Are the ones we give to you. Hi, I'm Ruby. I give a greater gift than wealth. The ruby cheeks of glowing health. I'm Emerald. Green for growth, you see. Growth in love and kindness and integrity. For I'm slowly in the oyster shell, I bring patience and a loyal heart as well. Thank you. You truly are special gems, and this is truly a magical place. Could do with a bit more light, though. Let's see if this dirty old lamp would be any use. Whoa! Who are you? I'm the genie of the lamp, and these are the three wishes. Three S's and dresses. We're from the lab that likes to say yes, and we're here for you. That means you say it, I'll okay it. You want it, you got it. But there's a limit, so don't rush in. Think before you wish. I can grant you three wishes, but only three. It's a magic number from you to me. Three wishes? For me? That's right, but I hope you take a little advice. I've been doing this for a long time. A very long time. Look at all these qualifications I have in wish granting. And no matter what anyone says, the exams aren't getting easier. Now, I can't tell you what to wish for, but I can say, beware of the detail. I once had a wildlife fanatic who dreamed to be close enough to a light to feel his breath on the cheek. Of course, he forgot to ask to be invisible. And the last we heard of him was the lion broken. Oh, dear. Look, why don't you just... Why don't you just sit here and we'll go over this in our own unique style.
got my first wish. Shall I run a past you first? Good idea. What is it? Well, I wish to take all this treasure back to my home, including Tom. <laughs> Aladdin, your wish is my command. Hold on to your hats, everyone. We're getting out of here. And fast. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of Act One. Refreshments will be served at the top of the Grand Staircase. We will take 20 minutes. Thank you. from Al to his oh-so-beautiful Jasmine. I hate to break it to you, bud, but I, I just think you got rejected. Oh. oh, pause! She came! What a nice girl. Unpause. Will you say yes and make Aladdin heaven? She's a sweet. I hope it's enough for you, Al. The Sultan seems pleased. I hope you are too. Now our heroes found the love sweet and true. But all can run smooth. That I must mention. Time for a twist. Some dramatic tension. I must keep the plot line moving along if I don't want this to become my swan song. So Rocky is the road before I can wed. It's not that I mean. I'm just fond of my head. Here comes our baddie. Now with a new plan. To come by the land, he'll do all he can. Silent, you stinky heads in a monkey's armpit. I will build my resort and knock down their pathetic village hall. You see, I have a plan which is trickier than a Cat 4 level 6 algebra question. I will be master of the I will be master of the universe yet. You're watching a genius at work. New lamps for old, new lamps for old, think Ikea, out with the old and in with the new.
school wall. This must be the stuff they want chucking out. Carefully recycling, you mean. Naturally, Matt. I don't think you could recycle this whole thing. Though, definitely past its sell by date. A bit like Widow Twanky. New lamps rolled! New lamps rolled! What's that? That was too good to be true. Hey, old man. Wallpaper at your service. How about swapping this for a new one? I'll take it home to Mrs. Paper. Lou, who will like that wall? Lou. Paper? Oh, please yourself. Certainly, sir. Just hand it to me and you can take your pick. At last, I have unlimited power. Are you in sky? Quite you hairy knee of a flea. A little rub and the world will be at my command. <laughs> Yo, Aladdin! Oh, it's you. Yes, it's me, and I demand you to make me the most powerful man in the East. <laughs> you wish my command. Ooh, now I feel just like Dr. Hopkins. You two, come with me. I'm so happy. My boy's marrying it to royalty. What an exciting day. And I've just had a lovely ride in this new invention. They can't think of what to call it, but it's marvelous. Bye, Mr. Rick. Bye, Mr. Shaw. Oh, gorgeous. I've got an interview with her. Well, she is Woman's Weekly. Can you believe they want to slap me on front cover of their new edition and shoot me on video in my beautiful lingerie? <gasps> Here's our brand new washing machine arriving. Clean like a dream. Incredibly green. Hardly cost the bean. Look at that sheen. Sign here on the dots for no more monkey spots. Where's she? Where's she? Come and see this. I can see it all now. Oh, we just like glossy goss magazines. All the celebs want to bring their dirty laundry to us.
faces, they'll be good as you. Good as you. No one does it better than your local lingerie from here to Timbuktu. Because we're going up in the world. I'm so happy, Jasmine. You're like a bus to Burj Al Arab. What? I feel like I've waited for you my entire life. Well, I think you're like a net full of salmon. Fish? A really good catch. And together we're like Sunmark School and Regent International. Football team? The potential is a really good match. Uh, now that the new village hall is ready, all we have to do is perfect our double act. Oh, hey, Mom. Have you seen the old lamp that was in my house? I can't find it anywhere. That's because it's not yours anymore. A lad in trouble. Gods, hold him. And neither is she. I think I might marry her myself. I'll never marry you, venomous viper. We'll see about that, my little firebrand. If not, I might have to throw your father and all his useless collections into the deep, dark ocean. Call the police. the police. I didn't kill anyone. We seek them here, we seek them there. We seek those criminals everywhere. No stone unturned, we can't be tricked. We grab them and say, you're nicked. PC Crook or PC Bright, at your service. PC Crook, that's not a very good name if you're for a policewoman. It is when your first name's Katya. Katya Crook, oh please yourself. Take Aladdin and throw him in the most rat infested jail. Lock Princess Jasmine and her father in the palace. And you can plan the wedding of the year, my dear. I don't think you'll get a flyly. I'll make you watch a piece of Coco Melon. Jasmine! Aladdin! Jasmine! Aladdin! My little boy! Troublesome toad, he's not just the body. Now he's taking the lamp, he's the daddy. And you can go and find someone else to know you slimy rhymer. Go on, shoot. I can afford a professional now, like Miss Margarita. Jasmine, just when everything seemed to be turning out right. And now it's all going wrong. I really thought we were meant to be together forever. Then I could let you go 
never could change so painfully From the day we said our first hello I knew then I couldn't let you go Was it so impossible The thought of you and me I never thought I'd envy your rat, but at least you can come and go as you please. Hey, I've got an idea. Can you get me some paper? Can you deliver this to Widow Twanky, my mom? No, no, don't look scared. She's not as bad as she definitely looks. Oh, Jasmine, there may be hope yet. What did you say? Mom, get Tom. Tom? Time to fight. You wish me washy into the palace. Then you can distract Abanaza while they get the lamp and try to bring it back to me. Love a lad in jail. We still got a sense of humor then. Father, don't you still have a collection of hankies used by famous people? How many you've got? Oh, lots. Comes out quite often on Amazon. It's not expensive. And you still got a collection of keys that might come in useful one day? Yes. Then I've got a plan. Let's knot the hankies together and climb out of the window. We'll take the keys and hopefully find one that opens a laden cell. Come on, let's get nothing. Let's do this. And knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? There's no need to cry. I've come to help you. I don't need any help. <sighs> Even a master of the universe has to have some wheat undies. I'll make your whites so white they'll be glowing in the dark. I'll fit you out with some of Widow Twanky's fancy pantsies. The slicker knicker. But if you're going to be wearing them over your tights like a real superhero, there's got to be something special. Hmm. I'd like to have my very own slogan embroidered on them. Of course. How about... LOL. LOL? What's that? Lord of the Lamp. Anyways, you just think it over. I must go hoover me bloomers. What? LOL? The lamp! Stop, thief! <laughs> I think we've given the police a slip. I'm so glad one of your keys fitted the jail cell, Father. I'll never complain about your collections ever again. That's good, Jasmine, because I just started collecting odd socks. You should have a word with my mom. Let's go see if you can find her. Excuse me. Time to tiptoe out of here, out of here, out of here. Find a way to disappear before they catch us up. Tiptoe out of here, out of here, out of here. Over there, over there.
the new village hall. Come on you two lovebirds, we want to get you to the church on time. What? I'm free. It's better than that. Take this and give it a rub. The genie of the lamp is not available. Please leave a message after you hear the chant. Beep, beep, beep. Hmm. You're really getting the hang of that right now. I'm so proud of Aladdin for setting me free. What he could have wished for. Anything at all. Anything. What a great friend. And you know what? I've always longed to be a rock and roll guitarist, but I couldn't make my own dreams come true. But look what the girls have given me as an evening present. An air guitar and a fab sound effect. You see, you see, sometimes it just takes thoughtful friends and a bit of imagination to make your dreams come true. May the audience please rise!
caravan and just not socks and coming. Well, why don't you come up for dinner and we could see what we can pair off? I can think of an odd pair right away. <sighs> Looks like this fellow is going to do community service. Meet the new caretaker of the village hall. And here is your supervisor. I'm glad to say the table's turned. I hope a lesson you have learned. Ready, come on, let's go. Hey, Aladdin, don't forget, you still got what we left. Well, I wish that we could have a production like this every year. The soul tangent of the tale so much that my head and neck can't stay in touch. But tonight, a new tale will expect. I'll show that later what to do next. So clap your hands and stamp your feet and even get up from your seats to cheer the gifted cast and crew who perform this panto just for you.